listen. Flatten your smiles a little. Fold your arms as you fix those eyes and listen. Today will never come again. Like a moving train, it would pass, loud and present, and will never come again, but we sit, watching, waiting for the next train. Not today, because we are waiting for the next day, and time grows older. The day of our Lord comes closer. See, my dad once told me a story of a king who made a feast. And, and this was no ordinary feast. The food could heal anyone who eats. There were life-giving gifts. The ground was lit. If you walked on it, you'd be free from every ill. The heavens were opened. And this king was ready to bless every guest with the power he was holding. His crown was golden and ready to deliver. His garments shining like they were made from silver. But this king... This king called his servants and said, go and tell my friends of this feast, for I want them to be the first guest. And with speed like an aircraft, the servant hurried, heels touching his head, to do as his master said. But he knocked on the first door, and no one answered. Another friend asked if the feast could be moved till the next day. The third friend said guilty was earned that night, and he could not miss it. See, when you become good at making excuses, it's hard to excel at anything else. When you become good at making excuses, it's hard to excel at anything else. Flee from this sort of attitude. I expect nothing less. For by these reasons, we have fallen one way or another. And time waits for no one. Time grows older. The day of our Lord comes closer. Please listen and understand that we're losing the world we live in needs no introduction. It's a hub where wickedness is the tradition. It's a market. And the currency is corruption. It's painted red with the bloods of innocence and lip gloss of adolescence. It's soaked in sin and stamped it a seal of death. It's the playground of the devil and our temporal residential address. The world we live in is sick. And from today, that has to change, and change begins with you, but the world is changing you too. To the trends of worldliness, you now conform. You're only feeling as a Christian when you're taking a form. The darkness is growing, and you can't fight this enemy if you're still at war with yourself. Please, listen. If I also bring good news. Amidst this decay and darkness, there is a light. One that shines brighter than the sun in summer. One that is far more reliable than Nepa. One that lives forever. That light is the word of God. That light is Christ sent to us by God to give us his life. To blind any eye that wants to see us in strife. That light shines bright in the darkness. Until date, the darkness cannot comprehend it. That light is here. I said that light is here. And you who have heard and seen this light, must carry it with you every day, for we are through Christ the light of the world and should not stay hidden. So do not hide behind the walls of tomorrow. Do not hide behind excuses. Remember the king from my story. He was disappointed when the servant said the friends could not come. But he gave away the feast to those who didn't have, the needy, the poor, See, Penn Speak 2019 is a feast, and it is no ordinary feast. The food, the spoken word of God will heal everyone who hears. The joy of the Spirit will wipe away every tear, cast away your fears, and drop those limitations. The devil can't come here to steal, it's strictly by invitation. The heavens are opened, so open your hearts and share this feast every day of your life at school at work, the way you live, the way you talk, in every little way, share this feast. Everything said here has been said before. It's the same story from a different song. It's like the same lyrics in a different song, but listen again. God says to you, to you, 
manifest. So start today, not tomorrow, not the next. Today. Thank you.